This multi-part tutorial series will guide you on how to create a dedicated CSGO server which supports plugins such as Surf or KZ. I will cover everything from scratch and all the links to required files are in the description below. This tutorial is for a server running on Windows 10. First, you will need to download Steam CMD. Steam CMD is a command line version of the Steam client which will be used to download and update our server. The link for this is in the description below. Once you download this, extract it to its own folder. Once extracted, just run the exe. It will download some files and update everything that it needs to do. Once you're able to type, uh, type along with what I have written down in the command line now. Uh, this is also available in the description of this YouTube video. The first command we are putting in is the directory for the install of the CSGO server. I've just called this CSGO-DS. We then need to log into the Steam servers using an anonymous profile so we don't have to put a password in. Once logged in, we need to download the CSGO server files, which is app underscore update space 740 space validate. If we were updating, we wouldn't really need to put the validate part at the end. This may take a while, so um, just wait for it to download and come back to this video. Once it's downloaded, you should see a success app 740 fully installed message. That's everything done for Steam CMD for now, so you can close that down. You can see all the server files have been downloaded. So now we need to download MetaMod and SourceMod. Once again, links are in the description below. Make sure to download the Windows stable builds for both of them. You can either save or open them with 7-zip. Once both are downloaded, extract both of these into the CSGO folder. It shouldn't need to overwrite anything, but if it does, just uh, accept and carry on. Once you've done that, that's basically all the server files downloaded. Now, we can download a thing called Steam CMD GUI, which is a graphical interface for the Steam CMD, basically for our server. The link to this is in the description once again. On the GitHub page, just go to the releases tab at the top and download the newest one. Extract this into a separate folder. I've called mine Steam CMD GUI. Run the exe. This software has a lot of different features. You can uh, specify the path to the Steam uh, CMD directly. So you can update, download, anything you want like that. But for this, we'll be focusing on the run server tab. So click on the run server and browse to where your server is installed. You can now select the map that you want the server to start on and you can leave the port the same, everything should be fine, and just click run. You'll see that the server starts normally. You now have a CSGO dedicated server installed with plugin support. What we need to do now is get a Steam login token from this link. This allows your friends to connect to you. You can type in SM to test if source mod has installed correctly. If you see a wall of text, then uh, like the one in the video, then it's installed correctly. All you need to do is log into a Steam profile that you'll be using as your server host. This can be the same Steam profile as your a normal Steam profile, or it can be a different account. Once you've logged in, create a new login token for app ID 730, which is the CSGO server, and copy the login token. Inside the Steam CMD GUI, click the plus next to run and paste in the console command for attaching the login token. This is also available in the description below. After you've pasted that in, paste in your actual login token. 
and that is everything set up now. You can press enter, that will close the dialog box down and you can click run again to see that the server is now connected to online. Once the server is running you'll see that it shows an IP that you can connect to. This IP would work fine if you were port forwarded but some people do not have access to port forwarding. If you can port forward, all you need to do is port forward the port the server's on and people can connect to you using the IP. If not, you'll need to download a um, network virtualization platform like Hamachi or Zero Tier. In this tutorial, I will use Zero Tier to showcase connecting to a CSGO server. So you can download and install Zero Tier from the link in the description. Just head onto the download page and download the Windows installer. I won't be installing this as I already have it installed, but the installation is fairly simple. Just go through next and just carry on installing it. Once installed, you can run Zero Tier 1 to show the icon in the icon tray. This will allow you to join networks. If you right click on it, you should be able to see that you have a join network option. To get a network ID, you first need to create a network. If you sign up for an account on Zero Tier, it's all free. Um, you can create a network that people can connect to you using Zero Tier by putting your ID down. If you go to networks at the top right and create a new network, you'll see that you'll get an ID for the network. Just copy that ID, paste it into the join network, and everything should be set up for you from there. Once you've pasted it in, you'll see that a new network has appeared inside Zero Tier. The RIP that's presented here is the IP that your friends can connect to if you can't put forward. If your friends have any issues connecting to you through your IP on Zero Tier, make sure that your firewall has allowed Zero Tier. Or you can completely disable the firewall. I would recommend allowing Zero Tier through your firewall. To make yourself an admin of your own server, just head on to where the server files are, go to CSGO, add-ons, source mod, configs, and you'll see an admins underscore simple. If you open that up, you'll be able to type in your Steam ID plus the permissions you want to give. To get your Steam ID, you can just go to any website with the Steam ID finder and type in your Steam ID that you can get for your URL. Copy the first ID in this list. and give yourself 99 colon z which gives you all the permissions for this ip save that file and now you should have admin powers onto your server that's everything for part one in the next part i'll cover how to install plugins and how to install an sql server thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe and feel free to comment down below if you need any more assistance in creating a csgo server Let's go, people.